Want to shift gears now because we do have Yahoo Finance's Anjali Kemlani standing by here. And really interesting develop, uh, Anjali, with Omicron finally waning here, Moderna has its sights on the next potential pandemic pathogen. And this company is planning to go ahead with 15 of the world's most dangerous pathogens, trying to find vaccines for them. What are the details? That's right, Jared. We got word from Moderna that they are now pursuing 15 new uh, sort of uh, diseases, and that's including other coronaviruses uh, like the Middle Eastern uh, respiratory virus. And then there's also others that we hear pretty commonly uh, in other parts of the world, like dengue fever, for example. So this is all in addition to its already existing pipeline, which includes things like HIV, flu, uh, other variants of concern uh, and vaccines for, for COVID-19, as well as cancer vaccines and RSV. So all of that put together is part of the new focus for the company. And this comes in addition to its announcement of a focus on low and middle income countries. We know that the company, for example, has been one of those that has been in the line of fire for global vaccine equity in the last uh, couple of years uh, throughout this pandemic. It was one of the first to really slow down clinical trials and focus on diversity in those trials. And then in addition to that, uh, really had uh, some attention on the fact that its vaccine was developed with government input. And so that has really taken on, uh, you know, a life of its own and really had held some controversy for the company. And so now they're putting in this effort with this announcement to also focus on ensuring that no patents are enforced for low and middle income countries, counting those 92 that are part of the World Health Organization's definition. And all of this uh, to really say that they are really focusing on a part of the world that we know through this pandemic has really come in to focus and to that uh, point as well, announcing their finally a destination for their mRNA hub in Kenya. That announcement came yesterday and it comes in addition to all the others that we've seen in South Africa and throughout other regions of Africa for uh, new mRNA hubs in the past year. Back to you. And Anjali, even with federal guidance in place, especially for vaccines in children, we're still seeing a fragmented response state by state. What are we hearing out of Florida? That's right. So what we heard yesterday out of Florida was something that sparked a lot of controversy. And to that point, the Florida Surgeon General did introduce the idea uh, of the day, which was at a roundtable held by Governor uh, Ron DeSantis, saying that specifically they were going to be touching on controversial topics. And to that point, he made this announcement. The Florida Department of Health is going to uh, be the first state to officially recommend against the COVID-19 vaccines for healthy children. And the announcement was left there. Further details to come. And this is, of course, going against the guidance of federal guidelines, including from the FDA and CDC, uh, which have already, of course, uh, uh, authorized as well as encouraged that children do get the vaccine. We do know, of course, that at this time, the number of vaccines available to kids is limited. And this kind of goes against the whole point of vaccines. As we know, they work better when more people are vaccinated to help bring down those numbers. And so this kind of guidance... Uh, uh, it does does have some potential, uh, you know, threats when it comes to for future months when we're looking at the potential of a new variant coming into existence. The divisions continue, Anjali. Thank you so much for bringing us that story. Appreciate it.